Now it's time to open Godot Engine. The first thing you see here is the project manager. Head over to the new project button and press on it. Here you can choose your project name, for example, Subway Tutorial, and the project path. I'm gonna leave it uh, in the documents. Hit the create folder to create a separate folder for your project and hit on create and edit. A new project will be opened. We're going to start with the player. Okay, we're going to create the player scene. So in the scene tab here, hit the plus button to add a child node and choose kinematic body. You can type kinematic body in, in the search bar and choose kinematic body. Make sure to choose kinematic body, the 3D one, which is colored red. The blue one is for the 2D objects. Kinematic body is a physics body, which is usually used for main characters. After that, you can notice a small warning sign here. You have to add a child node for this kinematic body. And the child node is a collision shape double click to add and also the collision shape has a warning sign because we didn't assign a shape to the object here but first we need to import our assets and I like to organize my stuff here in folders so let's create some folders so in the file system here uh, right click and add new folder I'm gonna rename it to scenes it's going to have all all my scenes here. I'm gonna create another folder for scripts. I'm gonna create another folder for general assets that we have. There are different ways to organize your project but I prefer this way which is having a big assets a folder that holds most of my assets and then having a scenes folder that will have the finished products. I think this is fine for now so double click the assets folder to enter it you can also choose it from here now right click and create a new folder for our character and inside the character folder I'm gonna create a new folder for animations and I'm going to create a new folder for textures okay so now we have our project organized you need to go to where you downloaded your animations I have them here so all you have to do is extract them and you're gonna pre be presented with flying, jump, running, and sprinting, okay? Now open the textures file and in Godot Engine make sure to uh, open the textures folder, okay? Go to your textures, select them all and drag and drop them to Godot into the textures folder. Tab and the first uh, Colada file is the running, so drag it into Godot and drop it here. Okay, now after it's done importing, double click on the running.dae and you're gonna be presented with the following statement. Just hit on new in inherited. Okay, this is going to create a new scene for us with the character. As you can see, we have some problems here with the face of the character. The textures aren't imported correctly, so we need to fix that. Go into the Edge Geo. This is under the skeleton. Here you can see this is the mouth of the character. And all you have to do is down here in the inspector, press on the mesh here. And on the surface tab here, click on it to expand it. And in the material section here, click on it. And you're gonna be presented with different options. All we need is the flags. Hit on the flag tab to expand it and make sure to select transparent and as you can see the mouth has been fixed we're gonna repeat the process for the uh, eyes here the boy one eyes we're gonna select that uh, press on the mesh and surface one here and for the material uh, click on it and the flags and select transparent okay and lastly for the bras head on the surface material 
flags transparent and as you can see now the textures are fixed another thing that we need to make sure that is working correctly is the animation so here in the animation player hit the play button here to see the animation and as you can see it only plays once you can make it a loop by pressing on this button here and then hit play again it's going to loop over the animation it's pretty decent it's working actually perfectly that's fine let's stop the animation for now and here the scene root I'm gonna rename that to something like character mesh and this scene here I'm gonna save it so hit Control S to save this scene and we're gonna save it in the scenes folder and hit save okay now let's close this scene here let's go back to the other scene that we created that has the kinematic body okay and all we have to do now is select the kinematic body here and hit the link button here beside the plus button this will instance a scene from a file so go to the scenes folder and click on the character mesh scene so now we have our character mesh inside our player scene i'm gonna rename kinematic body to player okay and and now we can assign a collision shape and for the shape you can select the shape here there are different shapes i'm gonna just select the box shape for now okay so this is the box shape adjust the box shape to fit uh, our character because it's kind of big you can use these um, orange dots here to uh, scale the collision shape like that okay scale it to something like that and you can move it with the arrows okay make sure that it kind of fits the character so now we have a collision shape on our character now we need to import our other animations because currently we only have the running animation so first let's save our player scene hit ctrl s and save it in the scenes folder hit save and now we need to import the other animations so open the animations folder here and go back to where you have extracted your files okay and select the sprinting forward roll and the jump and the flying uh, files and drag and drop them into Godot file system here as you can see it imported a lot of things but we don't want the entire Colada file we only need our animation files and this is a problem with Mixamo because it does not allow us to export animations uh, separately. So we need to do that with Godot and thankfully it's very straightforward. All you have to do is select the Colada file here, for example the flying one. And here besides the scenes tab, there is an import tab. Uh, click on it and down here on the presets, uh, you can select whatever you want. But for us, we want to select the import with separate animations, okay? That will import a separate animations. And that's all we need to do. Hit on re-import. And as you can see, it's going to import a separate animation here. And it's named default, okay? We need to rename that. So right-click on it and rename that to fly.animation. Now go to the next one, which is the jump.dae and select the preset, import with separate animations and hit re-import. Again, we have a default.animation here rename it to jump and lastly we're going to import the sprinting forward and roll and so again in the preset select the import with separate animations okay and hit re-import now rename that to something like roll okay so that's looking nice now we need to delete everything that is not an animation file so select everything that is not an animation uh hit delete now click remove 
Now we need to import these animations. So head back to the scenes tab and these animations are going to the character mesh. And you can open this character mesh by clicking this small um, film looking icon that is beside the node. Click on it and it's going to open your scene. Now here in the animation player, the default animation is the running animation. You can rename that by clicking this button, rename animation and I'm gonna rename it to uh, run animation okay now uh, click on this button which is load an animation from desk okay here you need to load your animations go to your assets character animations and awesome first select the jump animation okay next hit and load um select the roll animation then again select the fly animations so now we added all the animations here that we want so for example if we want to check the jump animation you can click on jump and hit run as you can see and for example the rolling animation so as you can see everything is working nice now we have imported all the animations from Mixout. Click save and that will be it for this tutorial. See you in the next time.